few words about the uh, small aspect of uh, curator taxonomy. So, for example, curator has, if we look here on the, the rules for the word login, we have a tremendous amount of uh, rules that fire on login, but notice that none of them is saying this is a login to this brand of servers, this type of servers or that. It's a generic, you know, whenever we detect a login, this, this, uh, these rules we, we're going to fire. How does Curator knows what's a login from a Windows or Unix or a particular or a custom build application? So, for example, let's take a look at these uh, multiple login failures. And notice that when we actually let me click it here so we see it better. We expand it. Is when when the event matches any of the following, and there's a category definition. Uh, called authentication failures. So let's actually go into that building block and see what does that have. So I'm going to select here building blocks and I'm going to look for authentication failures. And this is precisely the building block. And notice that in here there are very many categories of different type of login failures and where you define those uh, you know there might be you know multiple uh, sources and that has to do when you define your DSM or your parser or you use one that comes the the very many that Curator has out of the box and is auto discover and in it when the event category, let me actually go into any one of these uh, uh, DSM editor. Uh, let me select uh, anyone. I'm not going to go into any detail. These are some of the ones that are. Uh, so in here, when in the define in the event category, when you put the regex to identify, well, this is a fail login in this particular brand name of uh, Tricom switches. And, and, and you make it part of that event category, then that feeds that building block that we saw before, and that's why Curator can detect uh, blocks. And that's that's one of the great things ab about the time savings uh, that you get when you deploy Curator, because you don't have to specify things individually for every brand. You just use the categories and the taxonomy takes care of the rest.